I'm Dr. Roger, and this question is from the March 2021 USSAT calculator session. College Board is asking about two data sets where data set A is converted to data set B by removing a high outlier. And the question is, what effect does this have on the mean of the data set? There's a general rule that if you remove an observation that's higher than the mean, the mean will decrease, which tells you that the mean for data set A is greater than the mean for data set B which is choice B. It's worth knowing that rule. If you remove something higher than the mean, your mean will drop. Or conversely, if you were to remove something lower than the mean, the mean would rise. Alternatively, we could figure this out using our graph or scientific calculator even by hand by writing the values in each data set. Let's treat each value as if it's the midpoint of the, of the interval it won't matter as long as you choose fixed, choose fixed numbers. So data set A would be 5, 5, because it shows a frequency of two numbers between 0 and 10, so I'm calling them both 5. And then 15, 15, 15, 15, 15. That's the five observations between 10 and 20. And then three 25s. And then 235s and a 65. And data set B is the same thing 5, 5, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 25, 25, 25, 35, 35. But we leave out the 65, the outlier data set B is the result of removing the outlier from data set A. That's the 65 up here. Finding the means of the two data sets. I'm going to use a graphing calculator and enter data set A into list 1. The mean is 22.69. And if I go back to my stat list and remove the largest observation, the 65, the new mean is 19.16. And the mean of data set A is greater than the mean of data set B. For any values you make up for the data set entries in each interval, the mean of A will be greater than the mean for B. Remember this rule for your SAT and come back soon for my next video. With math, there's always more.